What is going on, guys? Shungman here. We are back with some Pokemon Go action. Guys, I got the APK data mine thanks to GoHub. I want a big, big shout out to Pokemon Go Hub for spilling out the APK details. But I'm going to go over this in a video for you guys. So, early like spike, you know how it goes. Drop that like. If you guys do enjoy the videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It helps me out, helps us grow as a family. So, here we go. We're gonna go through the APK here. It says it's 0.91.1 APK. It is revealed that new game Pokemon Go Quest is in the system of the game. So that's pretty awesome. So quest, there's quest types. There are two types of quest: story quest and challenge quest. So that could be that. I mean, it's just like any any kind of style of game. You got quests that are like story. You got side quests, stuff like that. So that's why they're kind of implementing that. Um, quests can be one-off and multi-part uh, series of quests. So, quests can be hidden, hashtag hidden, uh, beyond one of these requirements. You got level, you got metal, a previous completed quest, multi-part quest. So those are three things that it said. It says one-off and multi-part, which is off the series of quests. So you have more than one. You got, that's why the story mode, you got offset like that, but I don't know. But quest objectives, we're going to go over quest objectives, and uh, some of those, there's eight new quests. So basically, catch a Pokemon, spin a Pokestop, hatch an egg, you got walk your buddy, feed Pokemon, win gym battle, level up badge, and complete a raid battle. So those are eight quest objectives that are implemented into the game of Pokemon Go. Uh, quest characters. Quest characters can be associated with a particular game character. Quest characters are largely unfinished at this moment. Professor Willow is the only in-game character that has been mentioned as a quest character so far. So, we're not going to just see Professor Willow. We might we might see Professor Oak. You never know. We might see Professor Oak. We might see uh, uh, Kukai or whatever. I, there's, there's so many different professors. There's like a new professor for each, like, each game and stuff. Like for all the Pokemon games and stuff. But that's pretty cool. Uh, quest characters have different expressions. You got unset and you got happy. That was creepy. Sorry for that. But uh, yeah, you got unset and happy. Those are two of the character expressions that are in the in the APK here. Um, it's quest attributes. The in-game quest object has the following attributes in the game: rewards, end goal, seed, and context, multi-part. Status, active or completed, and creation and completion time. So creation, completion time. So there's going to be time limits on these. I don't know if it's going to be like, like once you once you accept the quest, you're going to have that much time in order to complete it, or we're going to have like a time frame. You know how we have for our events, such as like uh, the um, community day event we just had, which was awesome by the way. Hopefully you guys got your shinies, but um. Yeah, it could be it could be just like a three hour time frame. It could be a day time frame. It could be a week time frame. I don't know, but I feel like it'd be cool if they implemented the, the quest. You like there's a start time. You click it and it starts, and you got a countdown on your thing in order to complete it. That would be cool. Um, you got quest templates. Quest templates are particularly mysterious part of the quest system. Combined with the seed and context attributes of the quest. It is likely that quest will be generated for you based on template. So the template includes following attributes that can be modified, used for generation and quest. So here are the things that they have for templates. They got experience, items, Pokemon encounter, Stardust, candy, quest, avatar clothing. So those are the, I think those are some of the rewards. You got the stamp system as well, guys. You got the stamp system that is, all right. But before we get into the stamp stuff like that, everybody's curious. Mew, there's so much going on on Twitter and Instagram and throughout just talking about Mew being released coming up on March 30th. I, I think it, it might be a thing. But it says right here, Professor Willow, uh, it's a special uh, research quest. It's Professor Willow will present the special research himself with a story driven activities that will take trainers further into the world of Pokemon Go than ever before. So this is the exact statement that was shared by the Pokemon Company International. These activities are unlocked as the trainer completes more and more objectives. As, uh, it says, as of the time of this writing, Mew 
is the only confirmed reward from a quest chain called Mythical Discovery. Um, completing special research quests rewards experience and advances in the story. So it's and then we're gonna get to the stamps here. It says research breakthrough is what it's gonna be called. It's and you know how we get like a seven day streak of evolution item stuff like that. It's not you're not gonna have to do it in consecutive days. So let me let me just explain here. A research breakthrough is achieved by collecting seven research stamps. The date on the stamp is not important and you don't need to collect seven in a row. You can collect any seven stamps at any time. So you can skip a day, collect it like day after tomorrow, uh, like three days uh, after you collected the previous one. So it doesn't matter. But collecting seven research stamps will reward any of the fall. You can get any of the following rewards. You can get Stardust, a mount yet to be discovered. You get a bundle mysterious of items. You get a bundle of mystery items or a special encounter with a Pokemon that can be a legendary Pokemon. So Lugia, uh, Ho-Oh, like Articuno, uh, you got you got Zapdos, Moltres, Mewtwo, Mew? I don't know, but that's just what it, what it calls for. And we got another thing called Field Research Quest. Field Research Quests are available at Pokestop and Reward Research Stamp. So you can get one stamp per day by completing at least one field research task. Once you collect seven stamps, you'll re you'll get a research breakthrough, which we just discussed. Uh, unlocking special quest rewards, blah blah blah. Completing field research quest reward items. Typical field research quests are catch a particular type, win a set number of battles, or complete uh, complete a number of raids. So field research rewards basically are kind of like a doing a raid. You get you get hyper potions, charge TM, and rare candy. So it's typically like you're doing the quest, you're getting a, you, the the main thing is getting that stamp. But all outside of that, you're just it's just gonna be rewarded for like rare candies and stuff like that. So I mean I mean it's it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean Mew Mew is talked about coming out probably March 30th. Um, the quest will be probably released March 30th and stuff like that. So yeah, guys. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? If you are, smash the like button. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm going to be signing out. Um, I'm super happy I got my phone fixed. You guys won't see no signal, GPS. Fi I fixed it. I fixed it. So I'm super happy about that. So yeah, guys, smash the like. Subscribe if you guys are new. We're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers right now. We're doing pretty good. Thank you guys for all you whoever has subscribed to the channel up to this point. I want to thank you guys so much for that. I appreciate each and every one of you guys watching. I'm going to be signing out. And we'll catch you guys back with some more Pokemon Go.